Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ryan with Esco Tech, and I'm here to take a look at whether or not cryptocurrency mining will kill your GPU. First off, I'll start by apologizing to all the gamers out there. I do have about 10 graphics cards dedicated to mining, which does kind of make me an a-hole, but I'm at least not 100% a dick like these guys. So I started mining Litecoin back in 2013 with a couple GPUs. I had a small operation going with a couple R9-270Xs. Um, these cards were great, they never gave me any problems. I mined with a few of them for about a year. Um, never had any issues. So fast forward to now, in April 2018, and I have an assortment of about 10, 1066 gig and 1050 Ti cards. Um, so, you know, I haven't had any issues with these, but they've only been going for a few months. So excuse all my fans, my rig's kind of a mess because I was messing with some temperatures, but you can see that I've got my main, my highest card is running at 70. Celsius, and then I got 66, 62, 56, and 61. So all of them are running relatively cool for what they're doing. And temperature is obviously going to play a big part in you know the life of these cards. You can also look that I have all of my 1060s down to a power limit of 64%, and my 1050 Ti's are all at 70%. So between a lower power limit and decent temperatures, I think these cards will probably not be as affected as most people would think by mining 24-7. But I want to make this test a little more scientific, so I went ahead and bought another 1066 gig. Uh, I got a gigabyte version here I just picked up off Newegg. I actually got it for a decent price, surprisingly. But what I'm going to do is take this card brand new out of the box and run some benchmarks on it to get some base readings. Starting with all benchmarks, Catzilla. So the, this card on my test bench, uh, I got 19,162 in Catzilla. Uh, we also ran 3D Mark Firestrike, got 7,995. And then also flipped over and ran 3D Mark Skydiver. And got a score of 17,695. These benchmarks might seem a little low, um, but I've only got an i3 in my test bench. But really, I'm going to use the same test bench next time, so I'll be able to watch the change in the numbers. And what I'm going to do is in about 30 days, I'll pull this card out again, run the benchmarks, and see if we get any performance degradation, and see what kind of effect the mining has had on the card's performance. And then I'll go ahead and pull it out probably about every 30 days after that for a while, and we'll see how this test goes. All right, so that's it for now. Uh, if you want to follow along with the test, go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel, and I'll do another video in about 30 days, and we'll see how this goes. Until next time, thanks for watching.